Welcome to Dropy, where we take your dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Jacob. I'm Nathan. I'm Karina. And I'm Julia. And I don't know about y'all, but today I'm a fiend for the bean. Ooh! Woo! The bean, bean. fiend has logged Ooh. on. The Drawfee bean, that is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is a beans because we're busy this summer. Oh, it's God. An Anna, anniversary beans. Anniversary beans. <laughs> Happy anniversary beans, everyone. Yeah. That should be the anniversary tradition. Everyone just exchange beans. Exchange beans with your loved ones. Yeah. <laughs> or exchange droppy beans to tell each other about your favorite droppy beans, like this one, where we're doing a suggestion grab bag from. <laughs> Common YouTube suggestions that we don't think will fit a full episode, but have been consistently asked for, and so we're we're giving it to you. We're doing it. <laughs> we're doing the thing. Yeah, we're, we're giving in. You we're get what in. you want. <laughs> <laughs> we're caving under the yeah. pressure. Uh, Nathan, you're up first. Yes. And your which one... suggestion is mine? I'm gonna tell you because I'm pulling it up right now on my phone. Jacob, which suggestion is mine? <laughs> oh, it's a pun. <laughs> Yours is from uh, Edwina Dunn, who did give us another suggestion. I recognize the name. Oh, yeah. yeah. But, but this one, they've been doing for a long time. It's uh, Draw Random Word Generator Witches. Oh, boy. Ended up getting ones like Virus Witch, Metal Witch, Detective Witch, etc. Just sounds like a fun time. Smiley yeah. face. Let's yeah, draw I'll, I'll draw a witch. And I've always thought it did sound like a fun time. I just didn't know how to make it into a full episode, but for a grab bag? Ooh, come on. I'm ready to grab this suggestion. All right, I've got a random word for you, Nathan, and it's pretty cool. Okay. The word is steel. Steel. Steel <gasps> witch. With two E's. A witch made of steel. Oh, not <laughs> E-A. Yeah, not like a thief, not a thiefing witch, but a, a metal witch. A metal nice. witch. A, a witch of steel. Witch. Yeah, well, sometimes when you take the sand witch, it evolves into a metal witch. Into a steel witch. Into a steel witch. Oh! Sand witch digivolve to <laughs> steel witch. Steel witch. Steel witch. Karina, did you like that? Did you like yeah. that joke, Karina? Yeah, yeah. Karina, we referenced a thing you like. I was I was so caught up on sand the sand to steel pipeline. <laughs> <laughs> well, you need the sand. So to that's just do what I was thinking about this whole time. Sorry. <laughs> that's all right. Well, sand, if you think about it, is just little rocks. And mm -hmm. metal is is little rocks that are melted. <gasps> Oh, and then steel is when you combine your melted rocks to form an alloy. Oh, so it, if you think about it, it makes perfect sense. Wow, explain it more to me. <laughs> that, that's all the knowledge I have. <laughs> I gave you everything, I can do nothing else. I like this cartoony approach you've taken, Nathan. Yeah, it's a beans. So, you know, this is just uh it's just sort of a witch with some steel bits. The yeah, eyes are not? just eyes though, I've decided. Oh, is it uh is this like armor? Or is it like an animatronic witch? Oh. Ooh. If the eyes are know. just eyes, that implies that implies um that she, <laughs> she's like trapped in a metal casing yeah she this oh, was a true. spell a spell gone wrong that's like scary. a doctor who cyberman oh yeah <laughs> now she has to live with like this is kind of like full metal alchemist oh yeah her full soul metal got witch. transmuted into the into the iron witch well the steel witch it's giving me full metal alchemist vibes <laughs> i mean is it not tell me it's not I don't know. She was kind of giving me Banjo Kazooie vibes. That oh, yeah, too. there's oh, a metal that... witch in that also. That's yeah. sort of my first association with witches. You're talking about Gruntilda. Oh yeah. <laughs> not Banjo Kazooie himself. No, not Banjo Kazooie, but <laughs> Gruntilda. 
Yeah, maybe sort of these like sort of sheets of of metal. Ooh. Hey, hair. y'all. Do y'all remember Hot Gruntilda? Yeah. In no. the game. That was yeah. the game over thing, right? That was the game over screen. And I got to tell you, sometimes I just game over it on purpose. <laughs> I couldn't help it. I was really bad at <laughs> Banjo Kazooie. So I saw Hot Gruntilda a lot. <laughs> yeah, that was the consolation prize. <laughs> yeah, you suck it. <laughs> at level one <laughs> here's a babe <laughs> here's hot gruntilda and your sister's a monster now <laughs> and i'm like this is my punishment uh, darn oh no oh, oh no oh, <laughs> no <laughs> dang <laughs> <laughs> i never made it past the mountain in in banjo kazooie the mountain you the overworld mountain the one where you're an ant oh, oh. That, that is level one yeah, yeah. Okay. i was not smart <laughs> and i didn't play it that much i've witnessed hot gruntilda it's pretty hot right yeah but now imagine imagine you're a kid <laughs> okay okay t- dial it back please well, when you're a kid and you experience hot Gruntilda, it's different than like a 2022 adult looking at hot Gruntilda. It hits different. It hits sure. different. <laughs> Put yourself in my shoes, please. Walk a mile in my shoes. I don't want to unpack that for you, Jacob. <laughs> Nothing to unpack. It's totally normal and cool. <laughs> we'll keep it packed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just store that back away. Thank you. Do you want to know my Banjo-Kazooie story? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I played Banjo-Kazooie, and I was really far in the game, like near the end of it. And then my cousin came over and deleted my entire file. No. Damn. No. I did that to my cousin once, but it was with a JRPG, and I still feel bad about it. <laughs> oh, that's even worse. Yeah, yeah it was like that game, hours. Uh, Luminous Arc. Uh... I, I just remember seeing it in a magazine and liking the art style. So he was like, I'll let you borrow it. And then I accidentally saved over his save file. And I no. still feel so guilty about it. Uh, I like <laughs> get secondhand panic from like thinking about the feeling you must have had right after you did it. I didn't know any better. Because <laughs> so I would have been like, when I realized what I had done, I would have been like, I think. I think I have to leave the country. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I, I have can't, to leave the family. <laughs> I have to leave the family. I can't face up to this. <laughs> People will be wondering, like, why did Karina leave the family suddenly and never speak to any of us again? Was it something we did? No. It was something I did. I saved over <laughs> the actually good save file of Luminous Arc, and I'll never recover. Running from your shame. Yeah. I want to see how long Luminous Arc takes to play through the whole thing of. I don't want to I don't know even that. know the game. I feel like I know most games, but I don't think I know that game. I like knew about it because I had bought a magazine uh, while I was in Japan at the time that had Apollo Justice as the feature, and it was just one of the games featured in the articles, and it had really cool character designs, like very <laughs> mid-2000s JRPG, yeah. and uh, very cute art. I liked it a lot. <laughs> so it takes between... 20 to 30 hours to beat. You didn't and need to tell me that. And if you're a completionist, it's, it's 40. <laughs> that's not too bad, actually. I yeah, mean, that's, that's not, not bad. too bad, but this was like either on the Game Boy or the DS. It must it's have been the, the DS. It's on the DS. Yes. Yeah. The art style is really cute. Yeah, it's so cute. <laughs> it's very pretty. It's very watercolory. Yeah. They should have called it Luminous Art. Well, Yay! I... It, it doesn't matter anymore because I ruined that game for both me and my cousin. <laughs> forever <laughs> you should make a new playthrough now and then like get to the point where your cousin was at and then and then give him the game and then give him the game <laughs> so so they can continue yeah all this time later <laughs> yeah and he'll be like i don't even remember you doing that and i'm like i could never forget that <laughs> guilt you know the movie trope where like the bully contacts the person that they bullied to like apologize or whatever <laughs> Like many years later, and yeah. the person who's bullied, like, is like, I remember all of this and I feel conflicted about it. This would be like the worst 
sillier version of that where you <laughs> contact your cousin and you're like, I'm sorry I deleted your save file all those years ago. And your cousin's just going to be like, you, you did what? I don't even know what you're talking about. Yeah. I don't even know who you are. <laughs> who are you? I don't have a cousin. <laughs> the, the plot thickens. I had a cousin once, but they deleted my save file. <laughs> yeah. And now so they're now, dead to me. Yeah. I have no cousins. <laughs> Nathan, this is fun. Yeah. Thank you. Just a little little metal witch, steel yeah. witch. You know what's fun is that I when I Googled sexy Gruntilda. Uh-huh. <laughs> what yeah. came up was a mech version of Gruntilda. Oh yeah. So that's also already a steel witch. This is a different one though. A sexy mech or just well I guess I guess depending on your taste. Yeah, some people just think mechs are sexy. Yeah. She thinks my mechs are sexy. Is it like the the sexy version but a mech or like just a mech of her normal I would say visage? this is objectively not sexy. Yeah, it's a normal it's her normal it's visage. It's called mecha grunty. Well, then why did it come up when you Googled sexy? Because it's sexy to it's someone, sexy. Yeah. yeah. Good for them. It looks like a boiler. <laughs> like a, yeah. Damn, girl. With a, <laughs> you look a, like a boiler. A, a screw hat. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, girl, you're built like a boiler. Ah, oh, shit. What should, what should this arm be? Because witches like do magic and stuff, but yeah. she's made of, Metal, so hey, Nathan, I know. So... <laughs> I know. So she'd be summoning something metal. Nathan, probably. I said I know. Do you want to know? <laughs> what? What? Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's well. It's too late now. I was gonna say she was holding a staff. That's also a wrench. I like that. But you've already started to draw. Oh my god! Here How you did are... you do that? <laughs> Where did the lines go? <laughs> Where the lines go? Wrench. He's doing it again. <laughs> making the lines disappear. This isn't a no erase challenge. Witchcraft magic. Yeah, we're pretending we don't know what erasing Nathan. is as a bit. Oh. Are you a witch? <laughs> I'm a witch. <gasps> I'm a witch. I'm a lover. <laughs> Remember that song? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's about being a witch and a lover. Yeah. yeah. And that's it. <laughs> and that's it. It's a very short song, but I like it. You can be both. <laughs> the radio edit just has a really long like guitar riff build up to those two lines and then the song just <laughs> abruptly ends. <laughs> <laughs> Next up is a 15 second song. Called I'm a witch. I'm a witch. And that was I'm a witch. I think more songs need to have the bravery to be 15 seconds long. Yeah. And also the bravery to be a 15 second long song, but then have the title be nowhere in the song lyrics. So it's very confusing. Yeah. There's this band called um, I Kill Giants. They don't exist anymore. Did the Giants get them? Yeah, the Giants they, maybe got them, those... but they did have this one like EP where all of their songs were like thirty seconds long. Good for them. And so they would basically just like hit like one. They'd get you the crux of the song immediately, and then it was done. Damn, I love that. Rip, uh, uh, I kill giants. They would have loved TikTok. It would have been their perfect platform. I forget the title of the song, but I remember there was a song that I would always joke with my friends about, what if it ended early, that just started with, ain't got no money. <laughs> I was like, what if what if that was the whole song? <laughs> More songs need to end early. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. That would be so... Yeah, my vote is to remix uh, Castle on a Hill by Ed Sheeran and end it after the first line. Which is like, when I was seven, I broke my arm. <laughs> <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> We're going to do it with Macklemore's same love. When I was in third grade, I thought that I was gay. And then the song ends. <laughs> <laughs> Comment.
comment down below what song you would end after the first line. <laughs> this just turns every song into a cool story, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. More songs need to be the length of a tweet. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine like Adele? Hello, it's me. That's it. That's, That's it. it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> you got me there, Adele. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Meatloaf could not exist as a band, seeing as all of their songs are like 15 minutes long. I thought Meatloaf was one person. Meatloaf is one person. Meatloaf could not exist as a band. Because <laughs> he's one person. Because he's one person. <laughs> and his songs are 15 minutes long. You're missing the point. <laughs> his songs don't need to be 15 minutes yeah. long. If you made them mm, one let me line. See. Let's. Not let's. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Damn. <laughs> Julia's on fire today. Wow. Shit. No, I was just going to say I love Paradise by the Dashboard Light, but the Glee version where they actually cut it down to not be so damn long is fantastic. I would get behind it, but honestly, I really love long songs. Like, I don't mind yeah. it. I'm just saying some of them can could be shorter if needed. That's all. I need a radio that's, edit. That's and by true. radio edit, I mean just shorter. Yeah. If I like a song, I'm always sad that it ends. I always want yeah. the hour long remix on YouTube. But like with Paradise by the Dashboard Light, I don't need the like interlude of the baseball announcer <laughs> describing <laughs> them like getting to third base. <laughs> I don't know this song at all, so this sounds insane right now. Yeah, there's a whole section where he, yeah, where a baseball commentator just talks about a baseball game, but it's like all innuendo. It, yeah, it's all innuendo what for the them heck? getting down in a car. Yeah. It's like at least two minutes long. <laughs> what yeah. is this song? Why do I why am I not familiar with it? <laughs> I can see paradise by the dashboard. Light. They did it in Glees and it won them nationals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Come on. The only Meatloaf song I know is Bad Out of Hell. That's it. That's a great song. That song see, that's doesn't one need I to wouldn't, be yeah. shorter. Yeah, yeah that, that one's song great. rips. <laughs> great. You listen to, there's like an interlude in Paradise. Uh, by the dashboard lights. It's like they took a break. <laughs> Imagine if in the Glee version they did the interlude. <laughs> like Artie is just on stage <laughs> doing a baseball commentary alone. Freaking Mr. Schuster Mr. comes Sings. up. <laughs> Mr. Sings. From Mr. Ohio? Sings comes up and starts <laughs> rapping the baseball part for no reason. <laughs> And like doing a way too sexy dance. Yeah. <laughs> He's popping and locking. <laughs> Baseball interlude of paradise by the dashboard light. <laughs> and then he gets booed off the stage by me. <laughs> <laughs> This is one of those episodes where we just keep narrowing the scope of who can enjoy it <laughs> further and further. Yeah, we've happy we've, anniversary. We fully already cut Jacob out of the demographic. <laughs> yeah, I can't even enjoy it anymore, and I'm here. I can't believe we left from Banjo Kazooie to Meatloaf's Paradise by the Dashboard Lights. It's what so people fast. would want. Anyway, this is the Steel Witch. <laughs> this, this is, is good. great. <laughs> This feels like a very a very classic drawfy drawing. Yeah. yeah, it does. And I love that I don't have to render it. It just yeah. exists. Yeah. And you'll see it again at the end, maybe. Maybe. Depending maybe. on how much post work I want to do on this episode. <laughs> yeah, it's your yeah, call, you might dude. Not. But now it's Karina's turn. That's yeah. me. Yeah. So Karina. Your suggestion, and we've seen this one a few times, and I think from different people too, uh, yeah. like different variations of this, but the one that, that we have here is from Adeline Johnson saying, um, 
Julia saying biblical angels makes me really want to see Drawfee drawing biblical angels based on Julia's descriptions. Oh. So oh, Julia is going to describe a biblical angel and Karina is <laughs> going to draw it. Yeah. I sure am. That's the end of the description. Thank you, Adeline Johnson. Thank yeah. Thank you. Thank you to everyone who bothers to watch every single episode and leave the same comment. <laughs> Y'all are the real ones, even yeah. if you don't necessarily get what you want most of the time. <laughs> but the dedication is commendable. You're yeah. more dedicated than I've ever been to anything. Julia, do you have an angel for me? I believe I do. Okay, because I was about to start drawing uh, Castiel. <laughs> the most biblically well, accurate. I mean, that's the one that I think everyone wants to see. Okay, let's fucking go then. All right, Karina, what I'm going to assign to you is one that appears in the book of Ezekiel. Good for him. And this is going to have a twist. This one uh, is the cherub. <gasps> a little Aww. guy. But here's the thing about the cherub. Yes. Uh, He's got four faces. Okay. Oh. I'm going to jot these down. Four faces. Most okay. angels have a lot of faces, right? Yeah. Or no faces. Good for them. So it has four <laughs> faces. One of those faces is a lion. Classic. The other one, an ox. Okay. And then you got your regular old human. 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 And then you got yourself an eagle. Perfect. That makes sense. That's, yeah. That's covering all your bases there. Yeah. 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 Um, okay. We also got some wings on this on this bad boy. Yes. This bad boy can hold so many things, including wings. So many wings. <laughs> um, they got straight legs hmm. where the soles of their feet are like the hooves of a bull. But uh, are shiny like polished brass. The legs or the hooves? The hooves. Soul feet like bull hoof. Hoof hoofus, but shiny. But shiny. <laughs> <laughs> shiny hoof. Okay, that's it for for now. <laughs> All right, for now. Yeah. For now. Yeah. Well, I'm so I'm also looking at, you know, um a painting that I think is in a church uh -huh. of uh from an Eastern Orthodox church. I also want to say they're all holding a book as well. When you say they're all you mean so, the angels or the faces? <laughs> Each face has their own book. <laughs> Well, I mean, I think I want to see where you go with this because there so there's a few depictions where all of the heads are attached and then there's ones where all of the heads are separate from each other, part of the same creature. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of open-ended. It like just says it, out. it says four faces, but it doesn't specify where the the faces yeah. are in relation to each other. I definitely I hate that so much of like my uh I ideas of Christian mythology and like angel mythology comes from fucking supernatural, but like yeah, <laughs> I've done my time. I I feel like a lot of the times I would see more biblically accurate angelis, it's like uh uh one on each, like a like one of those pillars at the cheesecake factory. Like yeah, it just goes yeah. around. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, one of those. Well, yeah, that's how they do it in like Bayonetta and yeah, Persona yeah. and shit. It's always like okay. a rotating <laughs> column of faces. Do you have any info about a body for me? No. Okay. Body like a damn boiler. We got damn. faces. We got legs. We got wings. All right. Long, le long, straight legs. I'm also gonna say that um, each each like depiction of the the cherub that I'm looking at have more than two wings. 
Yeah. Okay, so it's two pairs of wings. That's actually four, four. wings. Four wings. I four just, wings. God, again, so much of my ideas come from Supernatural, and I'm trying to remember if, like, I know any actual facts, or it's just, like, ideas I, I like, picked up during that time that are just my ideas, but I typically <laughs> think four, and then, like, arch an- archangels have, like, more, or, like, six. I don't remember. That's how put, I that's how I drew wherever. them. <laughs> put them wherever you want. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Here's Okay. Yeah. All right. F- yeah. Follow follow me on this. Yes. F- are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> the Applebee's appetizer platter, the sampler platter. Yes. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'm following. <laughs> Lead me. <laughs> okay. Connection to the cherub. Because you always get like four wings on that thing. Ah. Mozzy sticks. <laughs> uh, okay. You get a lion, an ox, an eagle, and a human. You usually get like... <laughs> Yeah, four wings on that thing. <laughs> is this? A, they bring me my platter at the Applebee's, and I'm like, "Sir, is this a cherub? <laughs> is this a biblical cherub? No way." <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I need to look at it. The appetizer sampler. Uh huh. Yeah, you okay. got the the egg rolls. Those are like the legs. Yeah, okay. leg rolls. The leg rolls. Leg rolls. That's that's where they got the name from. <laughs> you get like four wings. Uh huh. You get two mozzie sticks. Oh, those are more like the legs. Those yeah. are the legs. And then we got like I don't uh-huh. know chips and quesadillas. I may have been wrong about this. I may have been wrong about Applebee's being a uh, <laughs> oh you know subliminal messaging us about <laughs> cherubs. <laughs> Yeah, no lions on there. Yeah. Well, a quesadilla is kind of like an eagle's beak. Yeah. They're both very sharp. And then the dip in the center is kind of like a lion's mane. Yeah. Oh, sure. No, it's not. It's yeah. It's beautiful, golden, and flowing. Jacob, I'm looking at a picture of it right now. Can't tell me that doesn't look like a lion's mane. You, you, you're telling me you never once looked at a lion's mane and thought that looks like some queso dip. That looks like the dip in the center of an Applebee's appetizer <laughs> sampler platter. I've thought that at least five times. <laughs> all right, and then they're all connected. Yeah, by a platter. <laughs> by one plat, like one head. Yeah, these are all the faces on one head. Yeah, a uh, uh, ox is kind of like a sliders. <laughs> Because it's beef. Because it's beef. I think I'm onto something. I'm try. I'm trying to go with you on this. I really think tr- I'm onto something. I support it. <laughs> Thank you. It's just we, st- y- you know, the four wings connection. Yeah, that's a that's a smoking gun. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> anything with four, four wings. <laughs> oh, what? Yes. What? I just I was looking at pictures of the Applebee's appetizer sampler. A, yeah, it's a yeah. Tuesday. Yeah. Of course, someone made a, a YouTube review video, and the thumbnail came up when I googled it. Yeah, it was like a real YouTuber thumbnail. Oh, should that be the thumbnail for this video too? <laughs> just take their that thumbnail. thumbnail. And use it. <laughs> yeah, it's a Drawfee Beans, but the thumbnail is just a photograph of the Applebee's. <laughs> <laughs> the Applebee's appetizer. It's a photograph platter. of your computer screen with that <laughs> thumbnail on it. Really big. Okay, there's the lion. That's a good lion. Thank you. And I ain't lying. Oh! oh. Well, no, you're Jacob. Hi, Jacob. I'm dad. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Is this the ox? No, this is the eagle. That's a- <laughs> I broke everyone's brain. Is this the human? <laughs> no way to know for sure. Is this the wings? I haven't or even. The dip? What does an eagle look like? This is an eagle. Close it's enough. A- it's an eagle now. Yeah. Everyone, shut up! Shut up! Well, back when chairs existed, they didn't know. <laughs> 
what eagles look like <laughs> yeah yeah all the time not like now where we can find out what an eagle looks like whenever yeah. we want <laughs> cherubs couldn't google back then no it didn't exist yet it's more of a guess they did their closest approximation of an eagle it's like I'm going to Earth. I wanna, I wanna look like some animals. Yeah, I like animals. I, I'd love to see one one day. <laughs> <laughs> Does an ox look like? I was just reading Zootopia, Dojinshi. I should know what an ox looks like. <laughs> <laughs> They've got the bangs. All right, we got to talk about the coolest. And maybe the only cool thing that happens in Christianity, which are naming <laughs> conventions. Okay. Uh, this quote from this wiki I'm reading, cherubim are regarded in traditional Christian angelology as angels of the second highest order of the ninefold celestial hierarchy. Yo. Yeah, Damn. dude. Damn. Now nice. that's some JRPG shit. Right? <laughs> They follow Seraphim. Mm -hmm. I remember Seraphim because of uh, Alan Rickman in Dogma. Yes. Sarah Fem, I hardly know a Fem. Hey. <laughs> Am I right? Yeah. Thank you, Nathan. <laughs> Nathan, you're really supportive today. I appreciate I, that. I'm. We've been independent for two years now. <laughs> and I'm just happy that that we've been able to make a living doing this. <laughs> people people want to see us do this and hear us do this. It yeah, is I love weird it. that they want that. I don't know if it makes sense that they want that, but I'm glad they do. Yeah, we don't need to question it. No. Yeah, no judgment here. So I'm as supportive of that nonsense as I am of the nonsense that we say episode to episode. It makes me happy. Here's to another year of saying nonsense. There's Whoa. plenty of nonsense that doesn't make me happy, but this nonsense... Does it? Does it for me? <laughs> Nonsense, affectionate. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, and here's the human face. I I drew it facing away because I don't even wanna. Oh, I thought it was gonna be facing straight up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, just slap a nose on there, and oh, it's like <laughs> ah! <laughs> I want to see. Bend over a little so I can see. Something about this nose is like reminding me of Shel Silverstein. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't he draw yeah. something that has like a nose like this looking up like that? Yeah. For sure. I can't I believe think it. of what. If you know what it is, tell me in the comments. Yeah, if you know this, you should let us know. <laughs> if you know the nose, <laughs> let us know. Okay. Let us know. And then strong. Oh, wait, no. Straight legs. Straight legs. Straight not legs. strong. Yeah. Well, it didn't they didn't specify not strong just for sure straight well if they're straight it means they don't have uh visible muscles yeah but they could just be real tight could be real oh. real toned real no tight. no no all legs have a curve if they have the musculature okay so this is they're little twigs yeah they're just sort of okay. like little floating ribbons and then they just got they're the ma sticks Shiny hooves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are those? <laughs> are you looking at my shiny hooves? <laughs> They're so my good. hooves. <laughs> my eight eyes are up here. Yeah. <laughs> and over that's there. That's and over that. there. Because <laughs> my eight eyes are up here. Okay. So no body, only leg. And then uh, wings. Four, four wings. wings. F only Just four. Just like the Applebee's sampler platter. Just like yeah. the Applebee's sampler platter. Do they let you mix and match the sauces like the Applebee's sampler platter? Or is yeah. it all the same sauce? <laughs> I love these hoops. <laughs> They're shiny. They're really yeah. cracking me up. They're so thin. Yeah. They're really making me they laugh. Tap, tap, tap. <laughs> tap, tap, tap. <laughs> yeah, it walks by like hobbling from side to side like 
<laughs> Cannot bend. It's like that video you took of the um uh your AI generated Pokemon. <laughs> Just flipping the canvas. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the the ancient, you know, Christians, I guess, saw this. And we're like, I'm about to make that a part of my religion, no yeah. doubt. I don't. You don't have a choice once you see this. Yeah, you see this, and you're like, I'm writing that down. Yeah, yeah, that's got to be part of it <laughs> somehow. I don't know exactly, but it's got. Yo, that's be. wild. <laughs> Write that down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I learned how to draw wings from drawing dusty L fan art. Nobody's Busting perfect. These out. <laughs> Thanks yeah, it's from wings. drawing dusty L. <laughs> I have more. I found more of a description. Of oh, interesting. This. Can I get yeah. some in the 11th hour? Yeah. Uh, when it's too late to turn back. No. Um, the faces peer out from the center of an array of four wings. These wings are joined together to each other. Two of them are stretched upwards, and two of them cover their bodies. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, Under so their wings, they're ashamed. Are yeah. human hands. Oh, okay. If you don't Human mind hands. me to keep a going, I can always keep going. Yeah. Between the creatures, glowing coals that moved between them could be seen. Their fire went up and down, and lightning burst forth from it. Y'all, yeah. have you ever heard of editing? Did you say their fire? Fire. Their, their fire went their up fire and down. Their fire went up and down. That's like when you ordered the fajitas at Applebee's. Yeah. <laughs> sizzling. Become sizzling. <laughs> this this angel comes to the table sizzling. Yeah. It's coming in hot. <laughs> Ooh, heaven is an Applebee's. <laughs> it probably is. God, can you imagine? Yeah. <laughs> I can't imagine. It's Applebee's, but you you only have long spoons. Oh, God. <laughs> the Applebee's of the long spoons. Yeah. <laughs> you can't even eat a chicken wing with a long spoon. You have to feed each other the chicken wings with the long spoons. That's not e any easier to do. <laughs> How do you drink your half price margaritas? <laughs> you have long to spoon. feed it to each other with the spoon like you a have soup. To sp spoon it into your mouth. <laughs> you have to drink the margarita like it's soup. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously. <laughs> this guy looks bashful now. Yeah. yeah. He's like, oh, Do you no. mind if I come over too? <laughs> I, I know we do a lot of silly stuff on here, but I just want to point out how like masterful it was that you were able to take those wings you drew in completely <laughs> different positions and like make them work in this yeah. position. Oh, that was That was really cool. <laughs> oh, it's Nathan's doorbell. That's my doorbell. We're not oh editing God, that out. We knew angel. it was coming. <laughs> the it's angel's Apple. coming. <laughs> Your Applebee's is here. It's like nah, Robbie from Ava. It's like Ava. they say, uh, take these broken wings and cover my long legs, <laughs> my long, <laughs> my long straight legs. legs. And make me fly again. <laughs> when you wear the first pair of shorts of the summer in your legs, you're not used to them being exposed <laughs> again. Nah, legs, be legs proud. too pale. Be proud of your <laughs> skinny, pin straight, pale legs. <laughs> you're beautiful. You're beautiful. You're like an angel. You're like yeah. a cherub. Get those legs out, King. They're the only ones you get. Yeah. <laughs> be proud of them. And then there's like little human hands. I'm not drawing a hand. <laughs> but you are drawing a you hand. You are. <laughs> <laughs> not a good hand, just a hand. Yeah. These are good hands. Yeah. There's another one that's like, hmm. Oh, they got a few, yeah. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I Precious. like this guy. <laughs> yeah, he's beautiful. Yeah, this is great, Karina. Thank you. Did I forget anything? No. I no. gotta stop. 
<laughs> we gotta I move like on. I like him. I like him so much. Yeah, as well. <laughs> biblically accurate cherub. <laughs> there he is. Yeah. He's good as hell. <laughs> yeah, that's wonderful. <laughs> Thank you for letting me draw an angel. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna draw now. I yeah. want Julia to close us out. Yes. We're I switching will do chairs. It. You're going to hear it because we're not editing this. Because I had a cat in my lap or else yeah. I would have been in the seat to begin with. Okay. But because cat, simply impossible. No choice. It's impossible. Jacob, what am I doing? Oh, wouldn't you like to know? You know, I would. Uh, those of you who are longtime viewers of the channel, maybe you saw this one coming. This <laughs> one's a classic, typically the first comment on an episode. Yeah, when it and, drops and stream vods and stream vods and draw detectives premieres, always there. It's Hunter <laughs> Powers with his classic suggestion: please draw your own versions of the combat wheelchair for an episode. And and Hunter, there there just was no way we were going to be able to make a whole episode out of drawing the combat wheelchair. Mm -hmm. But in this, you're getting one. In this one, you're getting it. You're getting Here it. Here it comes. I hope you're ready and I hope you enjoy. I'm not like entirely sure what it means, so um, I'm just going off. Julia, can you share your screen? Dear no. audience, Julia has not shared her screen. <laughs> We're just sitting here quietly <laughs> looking at each other. <laughs> oh. oh, friend. Hi. Hi there. Is this is this Hunter? No. This is going to be the rider of the combat wheelchair. Whoa. Yeah. Now, you know what? Safety first. We're going to put this on. You got to have safety when you're going into combat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That is the hope. Okay. It is combat, so it's going to be, you know. So <laughs> lo looking up the combat wheelchair for some context here. Okay. Yes. Um, the combat wheelchair refers to a homebrew wheelchair for use in Dungeons and Dragons campaigns. In an effort to make the game more inclusive towards people with disabilities who wish to properly represent themselves through their character. Mm -hmm. The chair nice. was created by RPG designer Sarah Thompson in 2019. It has received praise from disabled D&D players and mockery from others for being impractical. Ugh. Okay. Impractical in a oh, D&D &D game? game? Oh, no. How dare you? Whoa, no way. <laughs> what are you talking about? What makes something practical or impractical in a fantasy role-playing game? <laughs> Anyways, I think that's a nice thing. Yeah, it's good. And there's a cool picture on this page of like a tiefling rogue like having a knife fight Ooh. in the combat wheelchair. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, that was not the direction I was going to go in, but well, you're doing your you're version. doing yeah. your version, yeah. So you better not change directions at all, or else no. I'll save over your save file of your JRPG <laughs> <laughs> on accident. What if I go unrealistic and then the D and D people will hate me? That was <laughs> they'll, a complaint, right? They'll laugh at you for being impractical. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to be impractical. How will you ever recover from this? <laughs> How will I ever have fun and feel included in a in a D and D role playing game if I can't be completely practical in this fantasy game? I play role playing games for the practicality of them. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. The only D and D I want to play is a slice of life where I'm just playing myself, <laughs> <laughs> living my day to day, but like verbally with dice rolls. Me too. That's kind of how my day to day feels. Feels like someone's <laughs> rolling dice every day to see me. what happens. To see what happens. Damn, you're just a pawn in your own game, Nathan. <laughs> yeah. I don't have any modifiers. <laughs> just a flat roll every day. It's just day. a flat roll. <laughs> Julia, I like that you've gone for like an American Gladiators <laughs> like helmet and knee pads look. Yeah. Well, you I'm going to put on a little, a little, I was about to say safety vest. Yeah. <laughs> Bulletproof vest. How about that? Yeah. 
<laughs> a bulletproof vest? Yeah. For combat. For combat. <laughs> because it Catch can't up. be impractical. We're doing realism only. Yeah. There's a, there's a gunslinger uh, class, subclass in D&D. Wait, I'll mm-hmm. fantasy it up. That's a good point, Nathan. There I was go. being stupid. <laughs> I was like being impractical. It's like a tunic. There we go. I did I did the the thing. I did that thing, so it's a tunic. Yeah. yeah. A bulletproof tunic. <laughs> bulletproof tunic. <laughs> <laughs> um okay. So Yeah. All right. Okay. I, I really like these little legs you've drawn. They're really funny for some reason. They're so round. Yeah. They're yeah. just like <laughs> such a dainty little sit. Yeah. yeah. You no, know, I'm not gonna let it slide. You've done a you've done a Julia shrink where now there's just a lot of space, huh? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy, here it comes. Here comes the combat. Yeah. Here comes the combat bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have the chair. Yeah. No wheels yet. So we need combat and wheels. It's made funnier by the like hesitant look on the, the pilot's face. <laughs> <laughs> they sort of just are like, ha, ha, ha. yeah. They're looking directly <laughs> at us, like, ha ha, 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 ha what? <laughs> <laughs> Is this too impractical? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, am I being impractical again? Ha <laughs> ha, ha ha. Oh no. <laughs> Let me roll to see how much I care. <laughs> I've seen a lot of people do like uh, homebrews of drawfy things in characters, but mm-hmm. has anyone just ever homebrewed <laughs> a drawfy <laughs> campaign where you have to be drawfy? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> IRL. <laughs> you just have to do our tasks that we do. <laughs> yeah, you have to imagine what the tasks are and then yeah. do them. If they did that, they could just make a YouTube channel. But what if they roll badly? Oh, yeah. <laughs> then they would make a bad YouTube channel. It would still be us. Yeah, but some days we roll badly on our own channel for sure. Yeah. <laughs> but that's the whole campaign. There's no fantasy to any of it. <laughs> you just have a job now. <laughs> <laughs> that's really funny. Someone's going to do it now. <laughs> And then we should play it. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, well, it's kind of like those, um, those like what's that studio? Is it Kairosoft that make those phone games that are like game dev story? Oh and, like, yeah, uh, mm. Hot Springs story, where like you basically just have a job, but you're doing like a phone game version of the job. That's like what it would be for Droppy. Yeah. Droppy but, dev but there'd story. Be dice. Yeah. Well, there's like rolling in the, in those games too. Is a lot. Yeah. People will know what I'm Statutes. talking about when they read. The people in the comments are going to say, "I know what Jacob's talking about." Yeah. Are they? <laughs> so, is it still D and D stats, or do they get new stats for dr- the Drophy game? Yeah. It would have to be new stats, I imagine. <laughs> <laughs> it's D and D stats. They just don't apply. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like we don't do a lot of like investigation i'd say we don't do a lot of arcana mm. we do jaw detectives well arcana is like when julia <laughs> looks up uh like a like a reference yeah okay i could get behind that when julia looks yeah. up some like weird facts about something yeah yeah like just now when we were doing the biblically accurate angel that was a religion check obviously mm-hmm Okay, yes. Yeah. I'm coming around. What other stats? Well, there's constitution. We have to do constitution saves anytime someone draws something gross to keep ourselves from from being too <laughs> grossed out to continue. Is that what oh, that yeah. means? Or if it's like really hot. Every yeah, time it's, like it's hot really in a hot. Room. Yeah, when because we can't have the AC on. Right. So every yeah. time it's hot, you got to make a constitution save to see if you can still be funny while your balls are sweating or whatever. <laughs> I don't like that it's called a constitution check. It makes me think your character's going to poop themselves. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
if you fail the roll. Yeah, if you get too hot during a recording, you shit your pants. Yeah. <laughs> a peek behind the curtain. <laughs> okay, but now I'm really liking this idea of the role-playing game is a one-shot and you're doing a droppy episode. Yeah. And so you have to get through the episode by making successful rolls to remain funny and engaging amidst a lot of adverse conditions. Yeah, like the doorbell rings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone has to make a, a will save to, to maintain their concentration on the task at hand. <laughs> You have to see if the world news that you read about just minutes before recording the episode has destroyed your ability to be funny and do comedy. You take a a debuff for the entire episode. (laughs) (laughs) You read something that really upset you moments before recording. (laughs) Can you shake it off? If you're playing as Jacob or Julia, there's a chance that one of your cats will do a stinky shit. Yeah, that's another constitution. (laughs) And you have to ignore it. Ignore what you're smelling while you're doing the episode. Actually, doing the drawings is a dexterity check. (laughs) Yeah. You also have to keep rolling to see if the internet dies. (laughs) Oh, yeah. That's just a a straight luck check. Yeah. (laughs) Internet dies, but no one noticed, and your internet reconnected in time. Yeah. Yeah. It's a mixed think, success. <laughs> I think acrobatics would be like if someone like fails at a joke, you can do acrobatics to try and turn it into something funny. Oh, <laughs> you're like trying to like acrobatics. you know, yeah, twist and turn it and, fin- and I, salvage it. I was gonna say that that's for uh, the seat switch. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> that too. That too. <laughs> if you fail it, you just fall down <laughs> and poop your pants. Yeah. Mental acrobatics, you can choose whether it's an intelligence or a charisma. Yeah. Depending on whether you try and like puzzle out the joke or just or just sort of force it. Depending on which you which host you're playing as and their stats. Yes. (laughs) This is good actually. Yeah. Someone someone write this up. Yeah, homebrew the droppy one shot RPG. And if it's good, we'll play it. Yeah. Uh, as ourselves. That's a promise. <laughs> the ultimate meta experience. We can stream it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. We'll stream it. Yeah. So we can actually be drawing. Oh my and God. And playing the game while we're drawing. <laughs> Let's hire people to play us. <laughs> we just don't show up. <laughs> It's like, no, that's us. They're playing us. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Julia. Is this uh, realistic enough to not yeah. take yeah. people out of their their freaking fantasy game? Yeah. yeah. You got the front-mounted crossbow. Yeah, there's a crossbow. That's fantasy. That's fantasy, for that's sure. That's what makes it fantasy. Big that's wheels. What makes it fantasy. Keep on turning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got the grabby arms. Yeah. yeah. For grabbing. Yeah. You can you can grab a bolt and load it into the crossbow on top. Oh, you know what? He should have all terrain wheels. That's gotta be like an auto loader crossbow, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's magic. Yeah. Well, I just kinda like the visual of of those little grabby arms grabbing a bolt and going like I'm like, ah, okay, come on, almost. Come on, get it, get it. <laughs> Just got it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, an auto loader makes more sense. Yeah, it'll be it'll be here. There'll be like a little pusher. Yeah. We'll push the arrow in. Yeah. Wow. And then the arms are free to like hold weapons. So you can like kind of change up your class. Yeah. Yeah. Have like a sword and shield, have a staff. Or you can just do grapples. You can do grapples, <laughs> yeah. hold more crossbows. Yeah. How many crossbows can we get on this bad boy? So many. <laughs> but only within reason, for yeah. practicality yeah. reasons. Yeah, yeah, a practical number of crossbows. Yeah, yeah please. Pull up a, an artificer and start modding this this thing out. You know, this is the this is the base model, but you can 
You Ooh, can absolutely you can give it like stripes it so it goes fast. Yeah, the stripes increase your <laughs> your movement speed by ten feet. <laughs> this is great, Julia. Yeah, this yeah. rules. She's going. We finally made combat wheelchair. The combat wheelchair after all this time. Yep. Here you go, Hunter. <laughs> I hope, Hunter, you have enjoyed. And I hope that all of you who submitted these suggestions have enjoyed seeing them drawn. Thank you for your commitment to suggesting. Your commitment, yes. your patience, <laughs> and just for, for clicking on every single episode. Thank that you. That rules. I will say this too. All the people that suggested these, even though they suggested them for like a million years straight, they never once were rude about it. That's no. They're always polite. Yeah. And I think that deserves some sort of little reward. So yeah. en- enjoy. 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 And uh, uh, if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe on it. Go check out our Patreon if you want to support us there. It's the best way to support us directly. Yeah. We've also got merch and a Twitch for streaming, and it's all linked down below. Thank you for watching. Yeah, and we've got that anniversary merch out now when these episodes are coming out. Yeah. Ooh, baby. Yes. Go get it. Yeah, check them Ooh, out, baby, please. I love some merch. We're sorry. 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 Sorry.